On a quadrangular plant with a scarp wall basis, the impressive structure is adorned by a decorated ledge that goes around the entire perimeter of the castle, probably with a mere aesthetic function. The castle presents at its extremity four big towers, of whom just one circular shaped, Syracuse oriented. The circular basin can be dated back to the 13th century. With a ramp at its basis, it is adorned by a decorative ledge too, and at its top by small arches and brackets. Together with the moat, they constitute the most ancient elements of the whole building. The two frontal towers give elegance to the entire structure. The less prominent, but also the most active one, is of Norman Sagan settlement, with a scarpwall basis and marketing ledge. The other one shows a royal balcony which dominates the square and, to remind its earthly power, there is a stone crown at the top of the keystone of the lodge, on which there is the Caracciolo dynasty's crest. From the arch at the gate, we arrive at the big atrium of the castle, characterized by a valuable acoustic. The structure rises up on two levels. On the inferior level, once inhabited by servants and workers, there were an oven, the food storerooms, the chapel next to the secrecy, the stables, the garrison scarred post, the dovecote. The noble family lived upstairs, composed by the throne hall, with a matronian frieze, a royal lodge, some private rooms, the great common hall for banqueting and the armory 